Alicia Chapat, and every Bible study. And I want you to know nothing, there are no words to express the joy in my heart. There's no words to express straightway. To be here, to be with you, to be blessed by you and loved by you, there are no words except for thank you. Praise Yah. Praise the Most High. And as we look towards heaven, as we look towards the New Jerusalem, we are just getting but a taste, but a shadow of what He has for us. And I am so very, very grateful. I love you all. I wish I could hug all your little faces off, but I know I can't, so I won't try, but I love you. Thank you, Pastor Dow. Thank you, Sister Carol. Thank you for your obedience. Thank you for your trust in all that he gave you, in all that he's shown you for these many, many years. What can I say without straightway? All the years I've served him, I could never say. I had served him in spirit and truth until now. Praise Yah. Praise the Lord, saints. I'm Sister Margaret from South Carolina. I just want to bless Father God because he's truly been good to me. Um, I was just listening to Pastor when he was saying that 20 and over didn't make it in. And that hit home to me because I truly want to make it in. I truly want to make it in. And I, I know that we strive to do our best, but our best is not good enough. We have to be obedient. We have to definitely be obedient. And I'm talking to myself. Y'all can listen, but I'm talking to myself. I have to be so obedient. I praise God for Sister Carol and Pastor Dow and Sister Carol. I praise God for Brother Alston and all the saints in South Carolina and all of you because rebuke is serious. And when, when Father God rebukes you in public or in, in the presence of others, to God be the glory, you're still his. So I just thank him for that. Praise you all. Hallelujah. Bless you, saints. Um, I'm Sister Kathy, and uh, I just want to thank the Most High for writing my name down in the Lance Becker life. And I also, um, I was adopted naturally, but I thank the Father for my adoption spiritually, and I thank Him for all the family that He has provided, the real family of the Most High. All of y'all sitting here, you are my family. Jesus said, those who do the will of y'all are my mother, my brother. They are, they are my family, and you all are my family now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's Shabbat Shalom, saints. The saints, my name is uh, Elder Bill Hanna, and I've been on this road now for quite a few years. I started off as a Baptist, and that was at the age five, and I'm going on 68 years old now. And I searched all my life, and I came through some very, very difficult times. I came through uh, uh, the Vietnam era, and I saw all that I could see that put my heart in a, in a place that was um, something I couldn't understand for years. I just couldn't come to terms with it. But I always believed in my heart that there was a God. I always searched, tried to find the God that I dreamed about. And I searched and I searched and I searched. And one day I searched on the internet. And what I saw just uh, really up, turned over my life. I met uh, Pastor Dow and I called in Blog Talk and I spoke to him briefly. And he put me in touch with the Georgia Saints. And that's been my family. And they introduced me to this family down here at Straightway. And my heart has been mildly, mildly blessed. My life has been mildly, mildly blessed. And an additional blessing was given to me also, which um, you may know something about. When we look at this world out here and we see the abandon and the death and the pillaging and the viciousness that man is capable of here and around the world, it troubles the spirit. But every time I make my way to straightway, I see and hear young people, man, that are anointed, that are blessed, that are filled with the holiness that's beyond my understanding. And I'm an old dog, you know. 
but it really puzzles my heart. But you know what? I said, I said to myself, I said, what can I, what can I share with those young people? I, I don't have nothing to give them. And the Lord, Lord put it in Pastor Dial again to say something on the thing uh, on the internet about he did it with Moses. Moses came before him and said, I can't even talk. You know, I, what you going to do with me, Lord? And, and I finally let it set in my heart that, you know, God got a plan for me, too. The most, high, the most high got a plan for me. And all I'm going to do is sit back, take my time, let you all do the work, <laughs> and give God the glory. Shabbat shalom, saints. Giving all praise to y'all first and foremost because there's none like him, neither will there ever be. I'm going to try to make this short and sweet because I can talk like all day, seriously. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, me and my brother, brother Mitch there, we, we've been in all kinds of flavors of Christianity. Starting off with Catholic and going, I mean, all the way. We've been all over the place. But we never, ever felt comfortable. You know, and he can testify to that, that we, when we came here, now we lifting our hands up. Now we hallelujah and we glory. We doing all. I mean, we, we feel good to praise yeah. now. We always had a praise issue, me and him alike. Yeah. You know, and we, we always stick together. And I remember the first time I came was uh, around August 12th. And the one thing's for sure is Papa Dow here, me and Mitch was over here on, on his porch. And he told us straight up, I ain't never seen two brothers on the same page before doing the same thing. It's always one against the other. He was like, it's a blessing. I was like, hey, Mitch, man, it sure is, ain't it? <laughs> so, you know, I just wanted to make sure I let you guys know that this is a wonderful family, and the last time I've been here it was smaller than this, and look, at, look how big it is now. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor Dow, I don't know what you're going to do, man. You might need to build another building, because uh, I, I see this getting a little bigger. But before August 12th, when we came out of here, I, I was totally wicked. I mean, I had convictions, but it didn't stop me. So by the time I got here and got delivered, I knew right then and there that it was a spirit up to this day because the things I did before August 12th when I came to Straightway, I have absolutely, positively no desire to do at all. Hallelujah. Not from that day forward till now, I'm just going to stick it righteous. Stick straight to it. But I do know this spirit is, is, is true, is living, and it, it does affect you. And, and, and if you think that you don't have a spirit in you, with all, with, all, with all the wickedness that's within us, of course, you better think again. Because when I seen the difference, and it was a night and day difference, when Pastor Dow dipped us in that cold river and picked us right back up, I ain't never returned to that old spirit. I actually hate that old man he was talking about. And I love that new man. So I hope all y'all love y'all new women, love new men. Keep praising y'all. And please, please, oh yeah, also, <laughs> y'all gonna get you. Uh, Brother Dow here. Enlighten him. He, he's been nervous and stuff. He's, he's, he knew to this, so you know, just just lift him up as well. We gotta get that spirit of fear out of him. Hallelujah. But y'all take care. Praise y'all always, always, and never let him go because he won't let you go as long as you won't let him go. Hallelujah. All right. Well, bless y'all. Uh, my name is Mike from Ohio, <laughs> and it's great to be here. Um, I'm glad you guys are all my family. I, I could walk up to any one of you and feel comfortable talking, expressing myself, and. Uh, the, the like minds, you know, the true seeking, the whole, it's, it's all there. It's everything I can't even imagine. I can't even dream such a big thing. I mean, it's just amazing. So grateful for you, my family. Um, I just want to thank you all and say I love you all. Hello, my name is Sister Melanie. Um, I just wanted to get up here. I was thinking about being disobedient. The father was like, go ahead and get up there and hear to my voice, so I'm up here. And I just want to give praise because he is holy and he is so faithful. And he, I just thank him for not allowing me to continue to be deceived. I, I just glorify his name. I didn't know what I was going to say when I got up here. He said, I'll give you the words. So hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Um, my name is Sierra Glenn from South Carolina, and um, I didn't want to miss this opportunity to testify of um, my king. And um, I've been coming here since September of 2009, and I've never came up here to give a testimony. So today I stand up here boldly, and um, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I testify that he has cleansed me and washed me clean, and he has given me his Holy Spirit, and I bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm Rachel from Houston, Texas. I came with Brother Mitch and Greg and Daryl. I love you guys, but I'm really happy to be here because you know I'm the only chick down there, and it's just good to see some women. <laughs> All of y'all are beautiful. I've enjoyed fellowshipping with y'all. Um, honestly, my whole life, I haven't even been officially baptized. My twin sister would be like, you ready? I ain't ready. It didn't feel right, but I feel like I'm going to get baptized here the right way. And Hallelujah. I want to continue to encourage you all, because if we're going to do his work, we don't need to half-step it. We just need to push the pedal and go all the way, because we don't have long here. Um, in a moment, you can be gone, because like I said, um, after the death of my parents, both of them at once three years ago, I drifted for a while just trying to find myself. But I'm just so happy I found y'all a true family, and uh, I appreciate y'all's hospitality. Thank you. Hey, I'm uh, Brother Cody, and uh, I was just like any other heathen out there, and uh, I don't, I don't know why the Most High chose me, and uh, cause, uh, cause I was wicked as hell, and uh, I got, I saw one of Pastor's videos on the the ID Act, and uh, that caught my attention, and <clears throat> the Holy Spirit was bringing me to come get water baptized and uh, to repent, and I did, and I fell again, back into sin worse, and then I got came to God and got filled with the Holy Ghost and uh, I fell again and I've been in <laughs> I fell in rebellion and I, I, it's been hard the devil's been trying to tell me I've been cut off and I've grieved the Holy Spirit and I've been just, been trying to stick with the faith. And I thank everyone here that I have brothers and sisters I can come to and talk to to strengthen me. And I thank the Messiah for giving me mercy. Well, I'm Brother Mike from North Carolina. Uh, I've got so much to give testimony and praise for. We're going to have to wait till we get to glory because there's not enough time on this earth. <laughs> Uh, the first thing that I got to give praise for is grace and salvation for myself. Uh, I, I've at least as wicked as everybody is here, but we can come out of that uh, by choice and obedience. Uh, I also want to give thanks to something that's going to sound a little odd, but I'm going to praise y'all for a wicked man because a wicked man contacted me a little over a year ago, about a year and a half ago, and said, I have met someone, I saw someone online that is as rude and stubborn as you are. <laughs> I was doing something at the time, but that got my attention. So I, I brought this rude and stubborn man up. I, I, don't, I can't speak to stubborn, and I don't address rude, because that's a feeling. I don't address those. But he's sound. And so after communicating with Pastor online and Skype for some time, I said, well, I got to come out and I got to see. Because as, as some have said, do, I want to see. I want to see a fruit. And since then, I've been supportive of Pastor Dow because I've always supported the kingdom. Uh, I want to thank the Most High for giving me the knowledge and wisdom he's given me because my whole life I'm, you know, I feel the, the call to learn X. And I'm like, I don't know why, Father, you want me to know how to do this, but that's okay. I will do it. I will learn it. And I'll be glad to share all of that with you because it's his. Yeah. Correct me. If I am out of line, please let me know. I do not want my ignorance to cost me the kingdom. And if I see you out of place, rest assured I will come in love and do the same for you. Praise him, serve him, and do. My name is Melissa McKibbins. I am Melanie McKibbins, McKinney's mother. Devlon and Melanie, uh, you know, they had the ear to hear first, and I thought they were crazy. Of course, I was in Christianity, and I wasn't doing that well either. And so, but I never felt comfortable in Christianity. I thought I always was there, and I was looking around like I was somebody, you know, I'm thinking, 
something's wrong with this. And so, you know, I've always been uh, a mother that wanted to see what their kids were doing. And so, you know, it was funny. I, I, I like to play Keno. And so, Melanie, every time I was on my way out the door, Melanie would be standing at the door. And I'm thinking, she would be like, hi, Mom, I just came over so that, um, you know, I could, uh, you know, I got a meeting at a certain time, so I'm going to go to my meeting then. I'm, I'm thinking, oh, okay. So I would sit there, but she wouldn't leave to about 12 or 1 o'clock at night. I'm like, can't go now. <laughs> then the next time, she did it again. I'm like, something's wrong with this picture. And so I went to one of the Sabbath services, you know, because really I wanted to prove Pastor Dow wrong. I wanted to say, no, this isn't true. But when I went to the service, I'm, I'm looking in the, uh, in the Bible, and I'm going along with him, and I'm like, man, this stuff is true. And I did just like Pastor Dow said. I got angry for being deceived. But it was my fault because I didn't open that Bible up myself. And so, you know, I came into the Word, and, um, you know, I started telling, you know, others. Of course, they all think I'm crazy. You know, our family think we're crazy. And, so, so be it, you know. And so um, my son, you know, he was, um, you know, smoking pot and all this.